So that's a really good idea, doing the pros and cons list. Mm -hmm. And um, you didn't shadow a PA in undergraduate? I did. So it was not during undergrad. I did it during my year off. So between completing undergrad and starting PA school, um, because I was curious as to um, what a PA exactly does. Like you can read about it, but seeing it um, in person. So it took a while, but I eventually came across the observerships offered by UHN. And um, I got three placements, so I started off in general surgery at Toronto General, and then I, um, I think from there I kind of navigated into uh, radiation oncology and then neurosurgery, and I also had an ER um, placement lined up, which I actually followed through with as an LCE placement in my first year of okay. PA school. So it sounds like you went through Matry, you went through, was it Leslie St. Jacques? Yes, it was, yeah. Yeah, and yeah. who was the Toronto? Um... Toronto General was um, Krista Slavinsky. Oh, okay. yeah. Yeah. yeah, some of them are U of T grads. Yeah. Yes, exactly. So yeah, Krista was my first, um, uh, I guess, preceptor for the observership, and uh, she was telling me about her experience at UFT, and then I went to Maitri, and I heard about like the McMaster experience, and um, I forget where Leslie did, I think it was Mac as well. She was Mac as she well. Was Mac. Yeah, and um, so I heard about her experience as well, and it's in interesting how um, different people, uh, hearing different people's perspectives, and then seeing what the different uh, things PAs can do in different specialties. So. It was really nice. I think observerships is something I would recommend for someone who's like, what does a PA do and like, what am I able to do after um, going through PA school? Was there a big difference in terms of what you read about a PA and what you saw in person? I think it varies based on settings um, and who you're working with. So if a PA had more residents or fellows in their team, um, then there was probably less work to do, but then um, they would be like filling in the gaps in terms of patient care, but if you were part of a smaller team or um, if there were less residents and fellows, then you had more to do. So it depends on the setting, um, and I think when I was reading about it, it seemed like it was like a, almost like a set scope of practice, um, but I think one of the key things to know is the PA's role is very flexible, and um, I think that's what makes it super unique because you don't have that set scope of practice, and for someone who likes variety, I think that's like something that's intriguing to me. Mm -hmm. And um, what advice would you give to people that can't seem too secure in observership because shadowing is, is very difficult to obtain in Canada? So I think um, educating yourself about the profession in any means. So there are YouTube videos, and like personally, that's why I started my Instagram page, just to kind of um, advocate for the profession and like say this is what we do, at least as a student, versus um, placements. Um, so there are other means other than observerships, but um, if you do have the opportunity to do observerships, if not, there's Anne's page, and um, there are multiple resources out there, and feel free to reach out to PA students or even practicing PAs, um, and just ask them about how they, um, what their experiences are like, or what they do on a, like, on a daily, because it doesn't have to be in person sometimes, even just hearing about it might seem to clip. And how can students find those PAs or PA students? Um, so I think networking <laughs> is key. So. Um, PA is a growing profession, so networking is key, and um, sometimes even on Instagram, or um, I think Instagram is probably like a good platform where you find um, PA or PA students uh, through hashtag search, which is how most of the pre-PAs reach out to me, um, and just starting a conversation and um, going from there, so saying, I'm interested in this, do you have any input on this? Because um, we do have like an international medical graduate in our class, and um, I had a couple of students who were from abroad who were like, I'm interested in PA school, and I'm an international medical graduate and um, using your network so them reaching out to me I can reconnect them to um, the student in our class to start a conversation like that so there's definitely different uh, opportunities of different possibilities um, so just reach out and ask, ask your questions and say hi. <laughs>